Good morning and welcome to Superfood Super Mornings with Dr. Shilpi. Yes, yet another good morning and another day to go ahead uh, with a powerful punch of positivity. Let's enter the day today. And it is PCOD month, PCOD awareness month. So the entire world is struggling with PCOD and uh, we are you know responsible for our changes in lifestyle and PCOD is not only about fertility it is not only about quality of life it is also about metabolic syndrome which people are having a lot of uh, you know problems with <coughs> and uh, PCOD is uh, the most common disorder in women these days uh, and anybody you know struggling with PCOD can eventually go towards obesity a uh, lot of weight gain a lot of diabetes a lot of uh, you know um, it's scary but yes there is increased incidence of cancers it increased incidence of metabolic syndrome high cholesterol levels and all these things and it is definitely definitely important to curtail this problem and to treat it as soon as possible and there are multiple multiple options of uh, you know taking PCOD under control when we have to talk about PCOD it has got uh, you know three four important things and uh, insulin resistance and increased insulin hormone that is there which is because of the high sugar levels and all these things it can cause you diabetes like picture and all that increased levels of androgens which can cause acne excessive hair uh, you know problems with uh, you know androgenic obesity androgenic uh, hair loss and all these things uh, and the third thing is irregular cycles because of this imbalance of hormones and uh, as a result of that irregular periods and as a result of that infertility so there are so many so many corners and angles to pcod and today we're going to do uh, you know a diet regime which is coming up in a big way to treat pcod and to control pcod the the name of the right regime is seeds cycling yes you heard it right it's seed cycling and in this seed cycling, we usually divide the, uh, you know, uh, PCOD uh, picture or PCOD cycle or the periods into two cycles. First is the, uh, the follicular phase and the second one is the luteal phase for a, approximately about 15 days follicular phase and 15 days luteal phase we take into consideration and depending on this. Uh, first 15 days and second 15 days it can be 20 days it can be 25 days uh, depending on the follicular phase and the luteal phase the egg formation phase and egg release phase uh, we divide the seeds cycle into two phases and the first phase we give a different form of food and the second phase we give different form of foods and what we give uh, in the seed cycle is uh, there are four to five important seeds that we give uh, as a therapy as a nutritional therapy as neutrobiotics to uh, pe people who are suffering with pcod even this can be applied to diabetics this can be applied to uh, menopausal women it can be applied to people with suffering with uh, osteoporosis this, uh, it can be applied to people with having uh, issues with constipation wellness diabetes hypertension there are so many things because whatever we are talking about the seeds they are extremely extremely healthy and when we talk about healthy foods it all it's all about uh, you know uh, trying mm -hmm. local trying uh, original uh, and trying organic trying by natural farming methods and to buy what is there in the counter rather than uh, you know uh, talking about fancy foods and fancy stuff and what we, i'm going to talk about the seed cycle today is uh, that local seeds <clears throat> in the first half uh, about the follicular phase in PCOD or anybody who's starting off with this uh, seed cycle we give pumpkin seeds and fox seeds 
if you want to know how pumpkin seeds and fox seeds look these are pumpkin seeds and fox seeds and in the second cycle uh, second phase we give sesame seeds and sunflower seeds so these are the four seeds that we use So these are the four seeds that we use uh, in the seed cycle. So how do we take these seeds? So in the first phase, the first 15 days, one teaspoon of uh, you know pumpkin seeds and one teaspoon of fox seeds have to be taken every day in the morning. So it can be taken as whole seeds. You can chew them and eat them properly. You can uh, take them as a powder that is made and you can take one teaspoon of the powder uh, that is that you have pre-prepared and made or you can put it into your uh, you know any morning drinks that you are taking or in the morning breakfast that you are eating even if you are trying to eat upma or even if you are trying to eat idli with sambar you can put these seeds on the top and eat uh, they give you that extra crunch to it and this is, is uh, taken in the first 15 days. The pumpkin seeds and the fox seeds. You can even add uh, the chia seeds that we had seen in the last uh, uh, class. And then uh, even the chia seeds can be taken instead of the fox seeds. So it is really, really important that uh, we take it on a regular basis. So the first 15 to 20 days, the follicular phase, when the egg formation starts, uh, these seeds are very, very essential because... Pumpkin seeds are rich in zinc and uh, they control your uh, progesterone levels. And fox seeds are extremely rich in phytoestrogens or lig lignans, which are, uh, you know, which bind to the excess estrogen that is there in PCOD and give you that benefit. So these two are very important and to be taken in the first half of the seed cycle that is the first 15 to 20 days when the egg formation happens even uh, you can replace or you can add chia seeds to it wherein chia seeds has an extra uh, you know benefit of uh, decreasing the metabolic syndrome problems the irregular periods problems the insulin sensitivity it improves and also it controls the mood swings and acne so even chia seeds you can add to the first half of the cycle so these two are very very important and this to, is to be taken in the first 15 days of the seed cycle that is the uh, the fox seeds and the pumpkin seeds now comes the second half of the cycle the second half of the cycle is the uh, time which is uh, seen after the release of the egg. So that first half is called the follicular phase. Second half of the cycle is called the luteal phase. Luteal phase is after the release of the egg. So after the release of the egg, we have to take one teaspoon of uh, sesame seeds and one teaspoon of sunflower seeds. So sesame seeds and sunflower seeds, each one teaspoon in the morning after you get up, you have to take this and chew very well or you can take the powdered form or you can sprinkle into your breakfast or your or whatever you are you're taking in the morning your morning drinks or morning smoothies or with buttermilk or anything so these two are very very beneficial in their own when we have to talk about sesame seeds they block the excess estrogen and they're very rich in zinc, selenium, and calcium, and they're power packed. They're power, they are power packed in nutrition. So sesame seeds are working against the uh, problems that we have in PCOD, metabolic syndrome, and all these things. And we have another form of uh, you know seeds called sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds have rich uh, you know vitamin E sources, and uh, they have gamma linoic acid in them. And also, they um, uh, increase the progesterone production, which is very important and which is lacking in PCOD. So, uh, sunflower seeds and uh, uh, the uh, sesame seeds to be taken in the second half of the cycle. So, this way, if we take on a regular basis for months together, your quality of egg, your quality of... Uh, uh, you know, uh, egg formation, egg release, uh, your fertility levels, your regular periods, everything will come back to normal is what the studies are saying. And extensive studies are happening 
in this format and uh, for the beneficial results if you start taking uh, the first half sunflower seeds and chia seeds and the second half uh, sorry uh, pumpkin seeds and chia seeds uh, uh, chia seeds or fox seeds and the second half sesame seeds and sunflower seeds uh, this is how you can regulate your PCOD, your hormones, your egg formation, egg release and fertility levels. This is not only as a nutritious cycle that we are giving. This is also beneficial in uh, many, many problems like, you know, uh, when you have metabolic syndromes, when you have insulin resistance, when you have a lot of issues hormonally, these are very, very beneficial. And uh, when we talk about... Uh, you know any benefits of anything the nutritional components are responsible for its benefit and when it comes to nutritional component it's long term nothing is you know for a very small time you take it for 15 days and you break it it doesn't work that way you definitely definitely have to take it on a longer time and if possibly regularly uh, you know you take these things because they are a very good source of fiber they are, uh, you know, uh, they give the punch of micronutrients to it. They give you a punch of, uh, uh, you know, healthy prebiotics to your gut bacteria. And they are really, really helpful. And uh, this is all about uh, the seed cycling that uh, it's, that is useful for metabolic syndrome people, you know, people with menopause, with people with hot flushes, people with PCOD and all these things. And uh, this is one uh, type of a nutraceutical or nutrobiotic treatment uh, which has been uh, currently experimented in uh, PCOD and uh, it is giving good results and uh, you also try it and uh, see the benefits. And this is all about the subject today and yet another uh, very good uh, continuation of the subject we're going to make something very interesting on monday and uh, let's thank people who have joined hi subara hi seema hi shafi hi naren babgaro hi chandana hi pupavan hi akanksha hi everybody hi shrikant hi neels Hi Vani, hi, hi San, hi Yogu, hi Jasmine, hi Priya, hi Jensen, hi Pramod, hi Mahender, hi Saumya, hi Aitna, hi Kumar, hi Anusha, hi Bhargav, hi Parasuram, hi Ramesh, hi Lavanya, hi everybody. Thank you for taking time and coming in the morning. And so this is all about today's seed cycle uh, and we are fighting with a lot of diabetes in our uh, lifestyle. Uh, PCOD is one of the precursor for diabetes so definitely definitely have alert, uh, alert yourself in the right methods of eating, right methods of living, right methods of promoting uh, local uh, foods, seasonal foods and uh, promoting uh, that is that which is grown naturally by natural methods of farming by organic methods of farming and the produce that you are eating every day should be checked for quality should be checked for uh, not only the taste but also what uh, inherently it has that gives you health so goodbye and see you on monday morning and wait for my sunday message tomorrow